start spreading the news. The Callaghans are here in town. Yes, here we are in New York, New York. And we're in Times Square. What a place to start. This is the hub of the place. New York. Uh, they've been waiting for us to come for many years. And it's raining. So we thought we'd get out of the rain and go to church because it's Sunday today. So we went to the um, Times Square Church. I think that's what it's called. And there was, I don't know, a couple of thousand people probably and packed in and we almost had to stand but someone gave us a seat. But it was standing room only and it was actually very good. It wasn't all the hype that we're used to in American churches. But here we are um, now. In the, in the hype. <laughs> in the hype and all the entertainment. See all the, the bling and the flash and all the glory. We're in New York. We're going on the bus tour but it's raining so we're all dressed up in the ponchos. Very cute. Very cute. Yeah, the little yellow poncho. Here we have the Empire State Building. At present the tallest building in New York. It used to be uh, the tallest, then was replaced by the Twin Towers, but now it's the tallest again. And now we're at Ground Zero, the site of the World Trade Center. And you can see that uh, they are rebuilding. One building is now that tall. It's still very much a building site though. And the memorial's not going to be uh, ready for public viewing until September, but they're, they're doing a good job. And here's what it's going to look like finally. And this is called the Sphere, and it's a memorial to the, uh, those who lost their lives in the Trade Centre, and it's made out of bits from the Trade Centre. Yeah. For 30 years it was sitting in the um, foyer of the World Trade Centre, and got damaged. The sphere. This has been an experience. We were packed in like bananas. <laughs> a bunch of bananas on this bus and we're raining and every now and again it fills up and we're like big exploding pumpkins. <laughs> now we're at the top of the Rockefeller Center. Over there is Central Park. And over there's the Hudson River and Queens where we're staying and some of the big city. And there's the Empire State Building. And just everywhere you look there are these massive buildings. And over there you get a little glimpse of the Chrysler Building. Quite a magnificent spectacle isn't it? And what does our banana think of it? <laughs> well, we've got our trusty banana skins for the rain and my little angel wings about ready to take off. It's not as high as the um, State Empire yeah. State Building, which is 86 floors, but it's quite impressive and it's lovely to see the Hudson River. So you can start spreading the news. This place is pretty big. New York, New York. Rockefeller said, I believe in the supreme worth of the individual and in his right to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. And that's the American dream. Today is July the 4th, which is Independence Day when America celebrates liberty and so it's very appropriate that we are going to go across to the Statue of Liberty. And there she is, the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty was a gift to the people of America from France. And it took place 125 years ago. My ancestors came to the States in the 1600s and um, the Statue of Liberty wasn't here then, but these are the actual waters I guess that they would have come in because I believe that most of the people in the 1600s came through New York.
it's rather special to be here on the 4th of July on Independence Day when liberty is celebrated in the United States. Now we're going to Ellis Island, which is where all the immigrants were processed when they came into the United States in the 18th and 19th centuries. So this was their entry point to this country. When they arrived here, some went to the railroad, some went on the New York ferry, and some went into detention. You're in detention. detention. <laughs> You've got to go here. You're in detention. Up the middle. They reckon 12 million people were processed in this facility here, coming into the United States from all countries throughout the world. There were big protests with all these immigrants because they were taking the local people's work. As each of the different cultural groups came and moved in here, they all had to learn to speak English and adapt to the current way in which life was lived in America. And I think it's what makes America what it is today. It's fairly multicultural, a lot of mixture of people, but they're all proudly um, patriotic to their country. And free. And free. Now we head back to Manhattan Island, the heart of New York. Now we're in Brooklyn. This is the East River looking across to Manhattan. This is the Brooklyn Bridge and then over there is the Manhattan Bridge. Brooklyn is very densely populated. And the Brooklyn Bridge was the closest exit place for people in 9-11. It's nice to see everybody out and about on July the 4th having a nice uh, family time. We're now on Staten Island which is about a half an hour boat ride over the harbour from Manhattan which you can see in the distance there. And that's Brooklyn. Well, we can't have got a more different day than yesterday. Yesterday with the rain, today it's very hot and very dry. And being the 4th of July, I'm in my red, white and blue clothes and I blend in nicely. And um, it's wonderful to be here. And I say, God bless America, it's a good country. We're now on Wall Street and of course, right here, fortunes are being made and lost all the time especially by young uh, Donald Trump over there. He, uh, he's made a few bucks on Wall Street. She's off to make her fortune on Wall Street, hopefully. And for the 4th of July they have special markets and um, all the different foods. And this is a Greek one behind us and there's Russian and whatever, anything takes your fancy really. Feeling hungry? Uh -huh. oh, it smells good. There are just thousands and thousands of people here enjoying their uh, Independence Day. Yeah, day off work. It's Monday today. Oh, it's a holiday. Yeah, it's National a holiday. holiday. We're now at Pier 17 and obviously there are a lot of people here enjoying their July the 4th. It's been a lovely day. Here at um, Pier 17, we've actually been here before because in 1999 we came to New York just very briefly and this was one of the places we went to. So it's nice to come back but we've certainly seen a lot more of New York this time. This is the uh, tomb or mausoleum of General Ulysses Grant who was a general in the Civil War and became the 18th President of the United States and it's the biggest uh, mausoleum in the United States itself. When General Grant died, there were many, many people who came to his funeral and people mourned the loss of him because he was credited with uh, helping to win the Civil War and putting an end to the Civil War and also to the end of slavery. So he had a significant impact in the future history of America. 
This is the uh, museum of the city of New York and it's uh, a fantastic museum because it gives you the history of the city from when it was first discovered um, to when it became a little uh, tiny little village and then how it's evolved. It's, um, it's now a very safe, pleasant place to come. We've enjoyed coming here and it's been um, a bit of a revelation because you hear all these bad things about New York but they really uh, up their act and uh, New, New York now it's a lovely, lovely city. Now we're in Central Park, a tremendous big park in the center of New York and there's everything's happening here. We've seen models being um, photographed, we've seen dogs being um, groomed, we've had a bagpiper, everything's going. Parks like this are really important to city dwellers because they don't have the grass under their feet like in New Zealand and they, they live up in their apartments and it's a, um, a way of relaxing and I guess the families come and have picnics and family time together here as well as it's just a beautiful place to be. People will walk their dogs or go for bike rides. A very important central thing in city life. It's a very lovely environment. Good place to have your lunch. And here's what the real New York looks like. Singing. This is where we uh, started our travels in New York and this is where we're going to finish too on Times Square. A pretty lively place. It's been a pleasure and a privilege to come here. Well I've enjoyed New York. It's been wonderful. I can't believe how quickly three full days went. We were busy all the time, on and off buses and trains and boats and um, enjoyed every aspect really of New York. Um, mainly it's pretty noisy and very hot. We even managed quite well in the rain. So it was really good. I did notice that there's very few blue-eyed people in the world, especially in New York. Many, many dark-haired, brown-eyed people, which was quite interesting. So it was a great time um, and I think that the highlight would be going out to the Statue of Liberty and especially on July the 4th being Independence Day. It was a great time. Thank you, New York. Well, I've really enjoyed New York too. It's been fantastic. In three days we've really caught a, uh, a, a good picture of what this uh, city is like. And it's big and bustling and noisy and there's people everywhere and it's hot. But boy, it's interesting. It's got so much um, history here, so much uh, that leads the world. And we've been able to see most of the main sites very efficiently. We had a great hotel, great system for um, traveling uh, on the subway. And uh, for me, I suppose the highlights were going out on the harbor there to the Statue of Liberty as well, going to the top of the rock, seeing the familiar sights. So start spreading the news. Um, the Calligans have come to New York and we are really, really grateful that we came. So thank you, New York. Uh, we've enjoyed our stay with you.